All right, we are here in southern Thailand now. We're actually on a mountainside. We just drove up here on the motorbike, and the first uh, snake that I spotted off the side of the bike was actually a small... Well, actually, wait, I want to show if you can try and spot it. It's very well camouflaged. All right, it is visible in the frame right now. Can you see it? No. <laughs> No? I already showed you though. That's not fair. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in once, come in one step closer. Now I think you should be able to see it. Right there. It is a beautiful Malaysian pit viper. just sitting there motionless, relying on its camouflage not to be spotted, rather than actively trying to escape when approached. I'm right now very close to it, but as you can see, it is making no effort to escape at all. It's just staying very still. I can show you how close I can actually get with my hand right there. As you can see, he's making no attempt to run away, just staying very still, even if I stepped here, see? He's not trying to move away, and this is why a lot of people get bitten by this species. Because it relies on camouflage, and when people walk in the fields, often with only flip-flops or something at night, and the species is on the path, it won't move away, and people end up stepping on it, and then the snake feels threatened, and of course, in its defense, will bite. I'm gonna let Chandler hold the camera for a moment. Sweet. You will try. Let's see. We can gently coax it out and see what its temper is like. Whoa, that was fast. There it goes. I'm gonna gently try get it out. There it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Now, once they have, once they know that they have been spotted. They do, of course, try to flee, just like any other snake would, too. We'll bring them out onto the road here, and once they're feeling threatened, they'll also sometimes flatten their body out. And they'll curl up like this, and they'll flatten their ribs. See how when I'm stroking him on top, he's flattening out his body a little bit? This is a very beautiful one, nice pink colorations. You can see, next to my hand right there, how small this little coil of death is. They're sometimes referred to as venomous landmines, because they're like a landmine, just planted in one spot, not moving, and extremely venomous. Their bites cause severe necrosis, usually leading to loss of limbs, or fingers, or wherever you're bitten. Very beautiful snake. And you can see there. Oh, jumped at my shoe. That's right. Nice pinks on the belly. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful colors. What a beautiful snake. Very jumpy little guy, too. And you can see also how the tip of his tail has that bright coloration that they have as juveniles, like it gets very light towards the tail tip. And that can be used as a lure. They'll sit motionlessly, wiggling it around, and a lizard will mistake it for a worm or something, come over, and become dinner. What an awesome snake. All right, let's see if we can gently pick him up. We're just gonna, with the stick, very gently see if we can approach. It's being quite defensive, 
It hasn't struck at us yet, but maybe if I'm very gentle, I'll be able to. I have to be careful not to blow on it strongly because the slightest change in temperature in its surroundings could set it off. this beautiful snake. What a little beauty. Oh, did you see how she tilted her head? She didn't like that very much. See, when they rear back like that, that means that they've noticed me as a threat. I'm going to carefully... See if I can lift her up. And we're going to be releasing her right back on in the bushes, off to the side of the road, right where I found her. Being very gentle not to scare her, because they'll only bite when they feel threatened by us. And as long as we can handle her in a way that she feels comfortable, she will not try to bite me. Get a nice shot of her sitting in my hand for the thumbnail. All right, we're gonna put her back on these bushes here where she was found, and watch as she disappears. These snakes blend so well with their natural habitat. Here, watch this. Goodbye. This one's a male, actually. Where's he going? Oh, there. You can just see a little bit. Goodbye, Mr. Malay and Pit Viper. Awesome. And the next snake, come look. I'll show you the next snake. Chandler had already driven past these up the hill and I was going a little bit slower, shining in the trees and on the ground, and that's how I spotted these two snakes. The next snake is up ahead here. It is sleeping in a tree. Try and spot it. You can see it. Right from... there. Yep. There oh, it is. Or... What? In this tree here is a juvenile oriental vine snake, Ehetula prasina. And this is the silvery gray morph. Oh, he woke up. We're gonna have to catch him soon. All right, so we're gonna... I'm gonna reach up there and try to get this little vine snake down. Not too high up. I think I should be able to reach him any second now. I don't have a good grip where I'm standing. Got him. You can see this is the brown, well, grayish, brownish, silvery morph. They come in many different colors. Uh, most, t most commonly they're green. Uh, some of them are yellow, brown, I've even heard of a black specimen being found. Uh, but as juveniles, they're typically this brownish color in this part of Thailand. 
And when they're uh, feeling threatened, is what they'll do as a defense gesture is they'll leave their tongue out for very long periods of time to give that their snout an even more elongated look and it helps them blend in with shrubs and bushes and stuff. It'll look like a blade of grass if it isn't a fine tip like that. And they'll inflate their neck with air and in between their scales there's a differently colored skin which leaves this little very light checkered pattern visible on the skin only when they're feeling threatened like now. Are you gonna bite me? Are you gonna bite me? Very cute little snake, so I'm just gonna set him right back here on the bush where we found him. And we'll keep going. In this area we're hoping to find beautiful pit vipers tonight. Sweet. There you go.